What's up YouTube, my name is Eric Young and welcome back to another really exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take any model such as the Stormtrooper or any other character model you can possibly find and rig it and animate it using Maximo's Mixamo's website. So let's go ahead and get started here with the Stormtrooper here. I'm just going to go ahead and download him. And now if you find a model that you really, really like, but it's not in a T-pose, which is where his legs are either spread out like this or next to each other, and then his arms are spread out like this, um, what you can do is you can move the and you can move the parts around until his body is shaped as a T-shape, or you can go ahead and rig him in Cinema 4D and then shape him in a T-position and remove the rigging. I know it's extra work, so just look for T-shaped models like this. Another thing I've heard people complaining about in my tutorials is that I use Cinema 4D, and we're also going to be using 3DS Max today, and a lot of people say, I don't have the money for that, and that's understandable. But you don't need the money for Cinema 4D or 3DS Max, actually. If you just go to Google... and get 3DS Max for free student or you can get Cinema 4D student version and these are both free and as long as you're not making commercial products you can use them as much as you want and learn as much as you want about the programs because they want you to use them so you don't need money for these programs you just need money if you're going to make money with these programs and now I already have a file for this but I'm gonna redo it for the tutorial so I'm gonna make a file here copy the location and extract it there okay and the couple reasons I chose this model was it comes untextured when you open it inside of 3ds max or anything else and then you have to use the textures from this file and import them but some characters you'll find will already be textured and that's great and all but one problem we have with the mixamo website is when you export a FBX from cinema 40 it won't work so we're gonna have to use 3ds max just because for whatever reason, whenever I export in Cinema 4D, it says file unreadable on their website, but it works fine from a 3ds Max file. So we're going to go ahead and texture him inside of 3ds Max, and we'll export him as a FBX to go to Mixamo's website, and then we'll animate him. Alright, so now that we're in... 3ds Max will go ahead and import the Stormtrooper, just the object. As you see, a warning came up and could not find the textures, so we're going to add in each texture manually. First, we're going to start by removing his gun. And if you want the gun later, what we can go ahead and do is... save the gun as just the gun so we'll go ahead and export this and we'll save it as an FBX as just gun and then when you're exporting an FBX make sure and under embedded media embedded media is enabled for the textures to export um, I don't think there's an actual texture for this gun, so we'll just texture it later. And then we'll just press Ctrl-Z to bring everything back. And so, in 3ds Max it's a little bit different, just hit M to bring up your material editor. And then down here in the diffuse, just click on that. Double click bitmap. find that folder we saved earlier go in the textures we'll just go ahead and make them all and we just need the diffuse we don't need the bump or anything like that <coughs> Alright, so we'll just get started here. I know the shoulder pads need the shoulder pad 
texture. So how you apply it is you go over this little button, assign material to selection, and then click this other little button, show shaded material and viewer. All right, so when you're done texturing him, make sure everything is the way you want it and make sure that he's facing front, like facing forward in the front viewfinder. If he's not, rotate him till he's facing forward in the front viewfinder. So yeah, if they're not facing forward in the front viewfinder, rotate the model and if you need to rotate just select it and go up here and click rotate so when you're ready to export just export as we did save it as stormtrooper and make sure embedded media is on so that the textures export make sure once again, that he's facing forward in the front viewfinder, or you'll end up animating him, bringing him backwards. And then on the Mixamo website, go to the Mixamo page, log in, go to store, go to upload, click upload. And then upload the character, but, uh, I seem to be having some problems with Mixamo's website. It's not letting me upload characters properly right now. It's just doing this loading screen forever. So I'm going to leave this up and go ahead, go over to my assets, and find a character just to show you how the rigging works. So once this is finished, you'll end up with the character imported. All right, so for the sake of the tutorial, we'll just try this again on Deadpool. So once you've imported your model, which this seems to not be working right now, just select the chin, select the arm, the wrist, or the wrist, the elbows, the groin, the knee, left knee. Make sure you turn symmetry on and off as you're working with it. If it's perfectly symmetrical like this one is, you don't need to turn it off. And then just click Next. Their site must just be messed up right now because that was a rigged character and something went wrong and look, something went wrong trying to upload. So their site is just down right now. I'm really sorry guys, I can't show you exactly how to upload and rig it, but that's just really frustrating. But luckily I already have the Stormtrooper rigged. So let's just find him. Here he is. So we'll just search uh, animation, uh, walking, this is the one I used for him walking with his gun. So once you have him rigged and imported, you'll be able to choose what animation you want. I like to just keep him in place so we can animate him inside of element 3D. So once you're ready, just click View Download, Q Download, with Skin, FBX. I like to do 60 frames per second just in case I want to cut it down to 30 for slow-mo. Click Q Download. Download it. And then we'll open this one in Cinema 40. Alright, so here's our animation. So to clean it up, I like to just go ahead and select everything and make it a group. And 
And then we'll go to File, Merge Objects. And here's the gun we saved from earlier, and here's the texture I went ahead and made for it before the tutorial. So just go to Rotate, and <coughs> rotate the gun and position it in his hand. By the way, hit W to reset this orbit right here. Alright, so that looks close enough. So now just go down into the skeleton, go down in the spine, go down into the right shoulder, right arm, right forearm, and we'll just drag this gun down to the right hand. And now we click play, the gun moves with his right hand. So now we're ready to export to Element 3D, so just go ahead and make a spot to save this. Select the group, and then go down to Steady Bake, and click Record. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this scene I already have set up from a project earlier where I made him walk forward. And a another thing I've been wanting to show you is inside of uh, After Effects and inside of most editing and special effects programs, there's a thing called a disk cache. And inside of Element or inside of After Effects, you can go in and purge that right here. Click uh, All Memory and Disk Cache. And you need to do this often because if you don't do it, what's happening is it's saving every frame to the disk cache when you're previewing. So it has a place to save these previewed frames for you to watch them back but what happens if you don't clear it you'll begin to notice things like little stutters and jitters and frames that aren't right and frames that shouldn't be there because it's pulling preview frames from the disk cache that you don't need anymore so clear this constantly well not constantly but you know every now and then and if you see problems just clear the disk cache and that usually fixes them up so now we'll go ahead and get on with the tutorial so once you've made your element 3D layer, go into Scene Setup. File, Import, 3D Sequence. So it's important with these baked animations that you make sure they're in the center of whatever group they're in. And it, a lot of times it's easier to go ahead and just put them on their own group. Alright, so to animate him, because he's not on an auxiliary channel, we're going to make a group 2 uh, null to animate the character moving forward. Alright, so I can take a bit of messing around with just to get the speed right. Alright, so another thing I want to show you guys, if you make a null object and you make it 3D, we'll go ahead and call it camera dolly. And we can use this to orbit the camera around anywhere in space, so if we want to move this right to where his feet are, and then parent it to the camera. We can now rotate right around his foot there. And even unparent it, move it forward. So if 
we keyframe the position and the orientation. We can actually use this to animate the camera entirely. And then one thing I've had people asking me is how I'm doing the depth of field, so... If we go ahead and turn on depth of field on the camera settings. Go into element 3D and down here in output go to show and go to focus. And that's going to bring up this white line. And then you can use the focus distance to see exactly what's in focus. And then the last thing we'll want to do is look at motion blur settings. So since baked animations don't carry over motion blur because they're baked you need a way to fake it so what I do is I put pixel blur on top of motion blur on a adjustment layer so if click enable it's gonna increase the render time of course but this is the only way to get realistic motion blur on a baked animation as it moves and yeah that's pretty much the tutorial guys I'm gonna render this and edit the anim and edit the tutorial so um, yeah thanks for watching Please like, comment, subscribe, dislike if you would like to. I try to get back to everyone as soon as I can if you leave a comment. And I promise I will reply to your comment. And if I don't see your comment, I am terribly sorry. I just did not see it. But I will try my best to comment on every single comment and get back to anyone with any of your questions. And thank it. thanks everyone for subscribing. My name's Eric Young. I'm out.